Hurricane Ophelia is bearing down on the Republic of Ireland with winds of up to 80 miles per hour, prompting warnings about possible danger to life. The violent storm has been downgraded from a hurricane to post-tropical cyclone, as it is set to hit land, but could still wreak 48 hours of chaos. Speaking on Sky News, presenter Darren McCaffrey described the situation in Ireland as the country braces for the storm. He said, Ireland is essentially in shutdown today. Sky News Noah Hurricane Ophelia is set to bombard the Republic of Ireland with winds of up to 80 mph. HTHA government have taken unprecedented steps in advising people essentially to stay at home and not to travel at all while Hurricane Ophelia, or ex-Hurricane Ophelia hits, particularly the west and south of Ireland. Schools across the Republic of Ireland are closed. The court service is closed. Many government departments are closed. Bus services have been suspended across the entire country until 2 p.m. this afternoon. Ferries have also been cancelled, as have flights. 50 Aer Lingus in and out of airports in the Republic of Ireland cancelled today. Many other airlines advising passengers to get in touch before they decide to set out for the airport. Public parks are closed, even some supermarkets. So they clearly are taking these steps, these precautionary steps because they do expect this to be potentially the worst storm to hit Ireland in 50 years. Ireland is essentially in shutdown today. Darren McCaffrey, the Met Office, has said that the affected areas could face power cuts and ferry, air and rail services could all face disruption. It said there is a good chance that power cuts may occur, with the potential to affect other services, such as mobile phone coverage. Met Office forecaster Greg Dewhurst said Ophelia will be an ex-hurricane by the time she reaches the UK but will still bring very strong winds. Monday, October 16, 2017 Storm Ophelia seen from the Meteosat satellite captured by the University of Dundee satellite receiving station at 900 GMT November 16, 2017, showing the size of the storm heading towards the UK. These will increase across the southwest and will really ramp up during the day with gusts of 80 miles per hour possible. Waves could top 35 feet off the west coast of Britain while reaching around 18 feet closer to land, Scotland, northeast England and Northern Ireland are likely to face the brunt of the storm while the southeast should be left relatively unscathed.